Let's yeah. start at the beginning and say that our understanding of cancer is changing. We recognize that it's a much more heterogeneous group of diseases than we ever uh, thought before. And part of that is observations that suggest that some cancers in fact regress. Now we've actually known that in kids for a while from a very rare uh, tumor called neuroblastoma. But now we're beginning to see evidence of it in other cancers. And there was a study that I did with Per Hendrik uh, Zoll looking at screen detected invasive uh, breast cancers uh, that suggested maybe as many as 20 percent, 22 percent uh, actually would regress on their own. And, and it, it makes you realize that cancer is, is a much more dynamic uh, process uh, and that we, we sort of had this old view that once a cell became cancer, it would inexorably progress uh, to cause death. And now we realize it's a much more heterogeneous uh, set of, 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 of uh, disorders. And one of the things that I think was most impressive, I was asked to, to join an NCI conference that put together medical care epidemiologists like myself that are looking at what's happening at the whole system and, 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 and sort of the view from space about what's happening in cancer with the geneticists who are down, you know, so we're, this is the big picture people with the very small picture of people trying to put things together. We found some really interesting uh, common ground because they're very interested in this question of, you know, what makes some cancers take off and other cancers not. And I heard a presentation that, that just uh, really blew me away, and it was about zebra mussels. And, and zebra mussels is this infestation in, in the Great Lakes. It's uh, clogging waterways and, 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 and uh, affecting uh, intake valves and, and just growing everywhere. And, and I said, you know, I'm at this conference with Jeanette, and this is a geneticist giving this. And, and, you know, why is he talking about zebra mussels? Because and, and the reason is because he thinks the next basic science of cancer is something about ecology. It's about what is the, what is the condition that allows a wayward cell to take hold, and that's the invasive, you know, what, what is it that, that, that allows a muscle that's coming from the Caspian Sea all of a sudden to take hold in the Great Lakes? That's the same sort of question we need to ask in cancer, and it is something not just about that cell, it's also about the environment that it exists in. So that means other things are, are going to be relevant to what makes a cancer uh, take hold, whether that's diet, whether it's about attitude, whether it's about exercise, it's probably about all those things. Or with stress levels, I mean, th those are all going to be sort of out of the box for the biomedical community, but increasingly looks like uh, something about the environment of the human host is really important in cancer. It's not just about that wayward cell. If I were to meet with the president or, or someone that controlled all the levers, and let's be clear, no one controls all the levers of American uh, health care, but it, I, I, I would say m medical care isn't that important a determinant of population health. There are many other determinants of po population health that we have to consider. And one of the most powerful is income, you know, whether people have a job. Some of it's about their connectedness with their community, their purpose. Some of it is about their diet. Some of it is about their level of activity. And we need to pay attention to those other determinants of health. And then ironically, I think at the individual level, and this is counterculture thing to say, but I think ironically part of being healthy is not paying too much attention to it. That you, 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 if you over-focus on your health, you begin to worry about everything that might be going wrong. And, and instead, health should be really a positive thing. And it's about enjoying life, having relationships that are meaningful, finding purpose. Um, I, I think that that's sort of public health 101. And I think as a society, we need to keep medical care in its proper perspective, recognize it's not a hugely important role in the population's health. It is hugely important to people who are sick and suffering.